folks. Coming to you today from bedroom, spare bedroom in my house, because I had another challenge. Eh? This blister ain't gone away. I'm still, I said, look, yeah, I'm still not wearing a leg. Right, you see ya. There it is, look. In all its bladed glory, bless it. I've still got blisters, so I'm going nowhere. I have got up, got up, had a shave, put my summer plumage together. I'm upbeat, I'm alright, but it's a challenge. It's a challenge. I spoke about challenges before, so maybe this will be called Challenge 2. Challenges, or I don't know, Stephen King or somebody might come up with a brilliant title. I'm not brilliant. I'm just talking. Challenges, yes. Thrown in at the deep end, as you might say. Eh? My old nan was taught how to swim by being thrown in at the deep end. By the wonderful and caring and loving nuns at the convent. That's how they taught the whopping kids to swim. Took them to the swimming pool and threw them in. It was nice, wasn't it? Wasn't it nice of them? Consequently, my old nan had a fear of water, a proper phobia. Of water all her life. She couldn't even get in a deep bath of water. She had to get in a bath, empty, and then top it up with the water while she was sat in it. True that. True that. Traumatised her for her entire life. She always discouraged me from trying to swim. I had a natural affinity for the water. I was a water baby, you might say. My old man, because of that challenge of being thrown in at the deep end, didn't like it. Not at all. Now, off that subject slightly, but another challenge. I got through my first night. First night of 2020 without a drink. It was alright as it goes. It was alright. Got a few interesting bits and pieces and nightmares and whatever, but there was one. Really funny dream, and it stuck with me. It was with me when I woke up. Now, any of you that study dreams know dreams, oh, dogs are barking, which means Margina's back from the post office. She had to collect a parcel. Where was I? Dreams. Yeah, any of you that study dreams know that if you wake up with the dream, then it's had some important aspects in your mind. So and this one's on my mind, so I'm going to share it with you. It's quite weird, it isn't particularly entertaining or funny, but it is significant, I think, to me being challenged. We was at a, a concert, I suppose you'd call it a concert. Bradley Walsh, the comedian, was doing a gig, and we were there. And he wanted a member of the audience to come up for some audience participation. So... I agreed to go up the front. I don't know why exactly. And I went up the front. When I got up on the stage, it turned out that all the people in the audience was all in beds. Very weird, right? Very weird. But it was all in beds, sat up in their beds, watching the stage. Done a little piece, and I can't remember that bit of the dream. Or it didn't happen, I don't know. But the next bit of the dream was, I'm on the stage on my own, Carrying the show, while Bradley's off stage there, I can see him off the stage, making a cup of tea, having a break, and leaving me, the audience member, to carry the show. I'm supposed to be entertaining and funny and witty. It, it didn't work. And one by one, these people was climbing back into their beds, laying down under the covers, covering themselves up, and going to sleep. And when the last one laid down, which meant there was nobody watching, I walked off the stage myself. I went down to where he was still making a cup of tea, this interminable long length of time it took to boil this kettle. I think he had a candle underneath it or something, eh? And he said, well, well, what's the viewing figures like? And I said, I think it'd be best described as a viewing figure. Because it was none, weren't it? Well, yeah, that was it. That was me dream. Challenges. Challenged. So, 
yeah, I've got through my first night. I feel all right. I don't feel depressed and fed up and whatnot. I'm a bit pissed off I can't go out for a walk. I can't go out on my bike. And I'm proper gutted that the gyms are still closed because even with my leg off, I could drive down to the pool and use my crutches and go, go swimming. You see? That was, that was always my go-to thing if I got a blister. No matter what, go down to the gym, go swimming, an hour in the pool. I come out feeling right as rain, actually. Right as rain. But that's been taken from me. I don't have that. So all I've got, really, is the love of a good woman, which I'm not putting that down in the slightest. It is amazing. But that's what I'm saying. It's a short list. I've got the love of a good woman. And these things that I do to the camera to talk to you lovely people. Pretty much that's it. So, uh, yeah. Been affected by lockdown today. More than usual. Normally it's been, as with a lot of reclusive types, it's been, uh, it hasn't made much of a difference. I stay indoors most days anyway. Go out at dawn or early and do my thing, avoiding as many people as possible. Scurry back to my house where I can do what I want to do around the house, away from people. So for all the weeks that we've been shut down, it hasn't made that much of a difference to my life. Apart from not being able to see my family, well, my grandkids, grandkids. So that's been a challenge. Yes, the other challenge, or another challenge, that's been a good thing of lockdown, was I've been in more regular contact with my old dad, you see. Uh, I've not contacted him this weekend, so it'll be like nine days or something, ten days since I've spoken to him. So I need to go and put that right today. That'll be a challenge for the day. Make sure I remember to go and do that. I've spoken to both of my sons in the last week. Lee said soon is mended, eh? Poor Liam, he's a uh, challenge at work. He's, a, he's an educator. He's an educator for kids that ain't made it at school and then go on to, it ain't really a college as such, it's like where the over 16s go and they try and learn bodybuilding, body repairs, car body repairs, I'm talking about, I'm talking about car body repairs and paintwork and mechanics, that sort of thing. And he teaches that. And they've been pretty locked down, affected by lockdown, I should say. And uh, poor lads having to go all over the place. And recently, I suppose they've had the students come back. And they've had three members of staff for one student. And that ain't great, is it, eh? Not really. So I feel that pain for him, but that's that's is that's your challenge, boy. That ain't, you know, you'll get through it. You'll get through it. It's, lots of people have lots of challenges, don't they? I can moan about my leg and my blisters. But I'll go on um amputee groups on Facebook where there's people with far, far, far more challenging troubles than I've got or ever had, to be honest. When you add other illnesses to the amputation, of diabetes, for example, I've never had that. It gives itself all sorts of other problems. For example, did you know more people have amputations because of diabetes than through trauma? So, the forklift truck running your foot over, knocking your leg off. A motorbike accident where a car or a van or whatever smashes your leg up, you lose your leg. That's in a minority compared to people that just have a sugar imbalance, basically. That's what diabetes is, isn't it? A sugar imbalance. And that causes more amputations in our country than trauma. Oh, yeah. Challenging times, 
I'm not trying to say I'm on my own. I'm not trying to, absolutely not ever, no. I'm not trying to do doom and gloom and woe is me. Absolutely do not ever take anything I say like that. If, if I say negative things that are happening, it's to try and lift you folk up a bit. I'll give you an example. Even though I keep getting kicked and I keep falling down, I get knocked over, I bounce back up because it's what we do. We are stalwart Brits. I've said that before. So that's it. That's me done. Right. Get on me crutches. I'll off downstairs. See if I can manage myself at breakfast. Hey. We've got the kitchen side. I can pull up my stool. I've got a stool down in the kitchen. So I don't really need my leg on that much. The kitchen, all that ain't been adapted. Because I don't, I don't like adaptions for disabled people. I don't hold in with them. You manage in the ordinary world as best you can. Got the occasional handrail here or there, so I don't keep falling on my backside. But no, apart from that, we've got no specialised equipment or nothing like that. So I will manage, like I always do. And I hope you guys that are having problems and challenges, I hope you rise to them. Rise to them and beat them, eh? And if it counts for anything, go with my blessing today. All right. I love you all. You have a good day. See you later.